Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have something rather troubling and definitely urgent to discuss with you guys in the world of jailbreaking, iOS 8.1.1. All right, so to start off, let's get right into this video. I'm going to open up Safari and we're going to go over a few things, but first, if you have yet to jailbreak, I definitely advise doing so now. Don't wait, follow my untethered jailbreak tutorial for iOS 8 through 8.1. And if you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click my channel name down below to be taken to my channel. And from there, you can find my untethered jailbreak tutorial linked to immediately. Also, if you're looking for reasons to jailbreak, then I definitely advise watching my my all new top tweaks list video that I did create and publish yesterday. And it does give you guys some really awesome tweaks, including those compatible with the latest devices, such as the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and even the iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3. All right, and with that said, let's go ahead and discuss iOS 8.1.1. While it wasn't officially released to the public, the firmware was indeed ceded to registered developers. So switching over here to another article, let's actually get into to the news and discuss iOS 8.1.1. So today, ensuing Pangu's recent release of the all new jailbreak 8.1 utility, it's with a heavy heart that I deliver some rather disappointing news to those in the jailbreak community. Last night, Apple seeded the first beta iteration of iOS 8.1.1 to those enrolled in the official iOS developer program. The iOS 8.1.1 update, which is available for a media download via Apple's Developer Center for iOS, features a slightly revised build number of 12B432. And before I proceed any further, it's paramount to mention that current jailbreakers should avoid 8.1.1 at all costs. Now in what appears to be a minor update that rectifies bugs and slightly increases stability and performance for both the older iPad 2 and iPhone 4S, iOS 8.1.1 on closer examination is actually much more diabolical and contains a hidden agenda. Now unlike iOS 8.1, a combination of the latest vulnerabilities exploited by Pangu in their new utility to achieve an iOS 8 through 8.1 untethered jailbreak have officially been patched, making it impossible for any device to jailbreak 8.1.1 untethered using Pangu for iOS 8. And iOS 8.1.1's official release notes confirm that the latest beta firmware, as well as the build that will eventually be intended for public release, are rather minor updates meant to strictly rectify a few known issues and slightly improve performance on the older devices that I previously mentioned, again being the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. Now with that said, while only slightly more stable than iOS 8.1, it's been confirmed by Pangu themselves that Apple has patched, at the very least, the method the team utilized to inject the Pangu 8 jailbreak data being their iAdmin exploit. Now, while 8.1.1 does speed up performance on the 4S and iPad 2, said boosts are trivial and it's strongly recommended that all those who are currently jailbroken on iOS 8 through 8.1 not only avoid the latest beta firmware if they have the ability to update to the beta software, but also the firmware's inevitable successor intended for public release. And furthermore, for those of you who have yet to jailbreak 8.1, don't let this opportunity go to waste and seize the moment to jailbreak iOS 8 now while it's still possible to do so on the latest public firmware, as of recording this video, again, just be sure to follow my untethered Pangu jailbreak iOS 8 through 8.1 video tutorial, and I'll actually kind of discuss that more toward the end of this video. I have a few things to mention regarding Pangu and the current iOS 8 jailbreak. And while it's undoubtedly starting to sound redundant at this point, I cannot stress just how important it is for those of you who are either currently jailbroken or interested in jailbreaking to avoid iOS 8.1.1 beta 1, as well as any subsequent beta and public releases, as it's likely that neither Pangu nor the evaders will rush to jailbreak iOS 8.1.1 anytime in the foreseeable future. And now to summarize, with iOS 8.1.1 beta 1, and what will almost certainly be a short testing phase, the Pangu for iOS 8 jailbreak patching firmware is upon us. It's an ideal time for those interested in jailbreaking to do so now, while the latest 
public firmware being iOS 8.1 is still jailbreakable again through Pangu. And with that being said, for those of you who own an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 8 through 8.1, you will be required to perform a restore prior to executing the jailbreak for 8.1. So again, you absolutely have to do so now before iOS 8.1.1 goes public, because of course, once that happens, we're not sure exactly when, but Apple will definitely stop signing iOS 8.1, meaning you will not be able to restore your device to 8.1 and you'll be forced into iOS 8.1.1 and you'll be stuck on that firmware for what will undoubtedly be a long and painful wait. So with all of that said, if you take anything away from this video, just avoid iOS 8.1 and jailbreak now. So let's actually talk about the iOS 8 Pangu untethered jailbreak utility. So at the time of recording this video, it wasn't a known issue, but on certain devices, you can actually experience a boot loop when rebooting, depending on the order you actually follow of restoring from your backup. Now I did post a comment update on the video itself and also on the corresponding written jailbreak tutorial found on best tech info. However, I'm going to tell you guys the proper sequence now, just so you guys can have it in video video form. So essentially you're going to need to plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable, open iTunes, create a backup, restore to iOS 8.1, set your device up as a brand new device, jailbreak, and do not open Cydia once you have it. You're going to have to then restore from your backup that you created inside of iTunes, and once all of your data is back on your device, including your apps, then and only then can you open Cydia and install any pending updates. Once said updates are installed, you can set a passcode again and reboot, and you should be good to go, and you definitely won't experience a boot loop. And if you know for a fact that you happen to open Cydia and let it reorganize the file system prior to restoring the data back onto your device, then what you can do is actually open up Cydia and you can try searching for and reinstalling Cydia installer. Now it's not a guarantee that that method will work, but it's better than doing nothing. And if you're already stuck in a boot loop for whatever unfortunate reason, whether it's because you open Cydia prior to restoring from your backup or not, you will unfortunately have to perform a complete and total restore inside of iTunes by entering recovery mode simply by holding down the home and power buttons on your device together until it enters recovery mode. All right, now that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, one last time to summarize, avoid iOS 8.1.1 at all costs as it will undoubtedly patch the untethered jailbreak for Pangu. Right now, it's currently in beta stages. The first iteration of the beta has been seeded to register developers. We can expect the public version to be released relatively soon in the foreseeable future. So keep that in mind. Jailbreak now if you have yet to. And if you're on Mac OS X, see if you can borrow a friend's PC or get Windows set up on either a virtual machine on your Mac using Boot Camp Assistant. There are so many tutorials online for that. Don't wait to jailbreak if you have been. Take advantage of the opportunity now to jailbreak on the latest public firmware. Otherwise, you will be locked out and you won't be able to jailbreak iOS 8 once 8.1.1 goes live. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Definitely a warning and also a solution to rectify boot loop complications on the Pangu for iOS 8 jailbreak. And if it did help you out, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile safari if you're interested in earning paid apps and gift cards tap download and then if you're on ios 8 press the home button and open the app from there download and install the temporary secure profile which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware it's actually never even fully installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. from there simply download sponsored apps for points refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the mentioned prizes. All right, now that's it for this video. If you missed any of my jailbreak related content, just be sure to click my channel name below if you're on the main page for this video or check out the annotations if you're on the desktop version of YouTube and stay tuned for complete coverage on jailbreaking and how iOS 8.1.1 does regrettably affect jailbreaking. And if you guys wanna be updated more often, such as when I release more videos, of course, covering topics like iOS 8.1.1 and the forthcoming Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.